guys, so today we're going to try something a little different. Welcome to Not So Breaking News with Michelle. So these are just kind of going to be segments that may have happened in the past, but I have an opinion on it or it's interesting to me. Um, so let's start with the first one. internet as usual the other day and I came across I don't know what I was doing I came across a picture that looked something like this and my first reaction was all right who brought a sex doll to a restaurant uh, the answer would be this guy um, but that's a creepy video all on its own I'll leave the link to that uh, anyway actually it's not a doll uh, her name is Valeria Luca Nova and I probably butchered that terribly. So she's a Ukrainian 20-something year old who decided that she wanted to be a real-life Barbie doll. So if you haven't seen this picture before, it's of what Barbie would look like if she had real-life um, measurements. And first of all, ew. Uh, but Valeria, who we're talking about today, definitely does look plastic, there's no doubt. Um, and she pretty much looks like a real-life doll. So she has achieved it, but how strange would it be to like seeing that walk down the street? Like she doesn't even look natural, she looks kind of like a robot. Um, but I get people changing things about themselves in order to feel better about them. Like a nose job, liposuction, tummy tuck, I mean stuff like that can change your life, but she just looks like plastic and it's a form of beauty, but it's almost unnatural. The reaction to these pictures was, oh my god, how many surgeries would she have to do to look like that? Now we saw a few years ago, Heidi... Monte got 10 plastic surgeries and ended up looking before and after like this, and that was just 10. So imagine how many Valeria would have to go through to go from this to that. Like, crazy. I went immediately to Google wondering how many plastic surgeries did she have. I, and I tried Googling it, but mostly I just found pictures and stuff like that. There actually hasn't been a list released. Uh, maybe she doesn't want it released, maybe she doesn't want people following in her footsteps or copying what she did. Anyway, I can't find it anywhere, but if you guys do find it, please comment it, because I am really curious to know. Um, but just by looking at the pictures, I mean, this is her before and after, um, and just her face alone, she would have had to have, like, nose job, facial reconstruction, maybe even liposuction and Botox, like, it's crazy. She probably had more surgery on her face than Heidi did on her whole body. But I am not a plastic surgery specialist, I don't know that, so don't take any facts from me. So yeah, her face alone is extreme, but her body gets even more extreme. Er. Er. Uh, many women get breast reductions every year due to back pain and other stuff like that. Um, but how does she, like being a girl, how do you hold those up with a frame like that? Like seriously, how has she not snapped in half yet? Does she not tip over? Like that's. 20 extra pounds at least. Like, woman, one of the women on her photos actually commented, how many ribs did you have removed? And I sat back and went, oh my god, how many ribs did she have removed? Don't you think that when you have to take away bone, that's taking it a little far for plastic surgery? I mean, you know, it's not like ribs are important. It's not like it protects your lungs and helps you breathe or anything. But still, it's pretty extreme to get the look that you're going for. The other thing is, how much would she have to pay for that? I mean, nose jobs can range from $7,000 to $10,000 depending on where you go. Uh, breast implants are kind of the same, and any liposuction or anything like that can range even higher. So to have all those surgeries done, it's just like a million dollar body pretty much. Now she does have her own channel on YouTube, and I will leave you guys a link for that. She does have a few videos where she, I guess she is explaining why she got the plastic surgery. Personally, I couldn't really read the subtitles, um, but that's just me. Uh, because she does speak Ukrainian. But yeah, you definitely go check out her channel. I only have one last thing to say to everybody who's watching this video, though. Both females and males who are watching this video, some of you probably think she's absolutely stunning, and some of you may think she is utterly repulsive. Some of you may think that it's people like her who are sending the wrong messages to youth of today and about negative body image, and some of you think maybe you just stop the haters and let her do what she wants. All of these are valid points, and I'm not going to say that any one of you is right or wrong, because billions of people get plastic surgery each year, and 
Personally, my opinion is if you want to change something about yourself and you have the money and a reliable doctor to do it, then it definitely is your call. Before you clicked off the video, I know you guys have all heard this before, but it doesn't hurt to remind you guys that you are handsome or beautiful or whatever it is equivalent to in your language or culture. But being a young adult, I know how hard it is to accept yourself, whether it be maybe a little chubbiness or a crooked nose or something. Get older, I am starting to realize that these comments really don't matter and it's how you feel about yourself that matters. So you guys should just remember that. That pretty much wraps up my first section of not so breaking news. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you think about this maybe being a new segment, I'm not sure. Uh, let me know your opinion on Valeria also. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and my Facebook and Twitter is underneath if you want to chat me up a bit. So, I hope you guys have a good week, and I will see you next time. Bye!